How safe do you feel around campus? Reporter Andrew Richards took to the streets to find out what students think of the recent increase in crime. With campus opening up this past fall, students have been out and about having fun, but at what cost? From July to September of 2021, there have been 42 major cases of crime on Ohio State's campus and more than 74 cases off campus. Here are how a few students feel about their current and future safety. Here around campus, I don't feel particularly safe. Um, I know the school's been putting up all those those lighting areas, which I think are like not a terrible idea, but I, I don't think it's the end-all be-all solution. Door, a patrol officer, that car that was just sitting there, and they told me they were busy, so I ended up never reporting the crime. So I also wonder how much of the crimes go unreported around this area. I think crime has decreased lately. Ohio State has pledged to give $2 million a year for the next decade to go to safety improvements. Here's what Gavin thinks Ohio State should use the money for. I think that there's a lot they could do. The lighting was a good start, like I said, but if they could put in like permanent lighting, that would be better. I really like the neighborhood patrol that they had. I don't really necessarily think we need to increase police presence. But when I see the patrol people walking around the streets, actually looking out for people, that actually I think is a good idea. I think the lifts are a great plan too, increasing the funding for those because, you know, kids use those a lot and it is expensive. And ride safety things through the university, if they could pick up people off campus and stuff and bring them places, I think that would be something they should invest in as well. But just making sure people are getting to places in a safer way and not walking around alone at night. With higher attention to crime in addition to funding, campus should be a much safer place going forward. Do you ever feel unsafe walking off campus after dark? Lauren Lauderman runs through the latest tactic President Christina M. Johnson has planned to lessen students' fear. Many students here at Ohio State live off campus, and they have noticed that the lighting is quite limited. However, on January 20th, President Christina M. Johnson announced that she will be replacing the mobile lighting with more permanent lighting, hoping to enhance safety off campus. Several students discussed the ways that they think this mobile lighting turning into permanent lighting will help increase safety off campus. Permanent lighting will make people feel safer walking home by knowing that it's going to be there always, especially when it's really late at night. Lighting in the off campus areas so that like hopefully crimes will occur less. The change will help people feel more safe because there's going to always be lighting there and it's going to stay there. President Christina M. Johnson sent out an email to the entire student body announcing this new plan on January 20th, 2022. In what ways will permanent lighting affect your nighttime plans? If they don't go out often, but this might make me because it won't be as much black. Maybe I'll just feel safer when I'm going out and maybe I'll consider more like, okay, I don't have to be home sooner than later because it is dark. Ohio State students are happy to know that their safety is being put first with this new lighting plan that is going to go into action very soon. I'm Lauren Luderman with Buckeye TV. Have a safe rest of your semester. Now let's take a different look in society, the price comparisons between rural areas and cities across Ohio. Nick Malika is reporting from Columbus and Athens, Ohio to receive information on these kinds of price differences. Have you ever went into a city and thought, hey, why are these prices so high? Today, we will be interviewing Ohio State and Ohio University students to compare and contrast prices. The Ohio State parking system is fairly new, dating back to the autumn semester of 2021. Most streets on off-campus living have to pay to park to get on campus. I think it's really overpriced and kind of ridiculous because now every single street that OSU students live on, you have to pay, um, which kind of just makes people not even want to have a car here. Most students have not realized the price difference in food. We took a deeper look into if this student noticed the difference. Yeah, sometimes in the cities, uh, for instance, like the Taco Bell boxes are a little more. Um, and then I know that McDonald's is usually the same, but even Chipotle and like inner city is a couple dollars more. As everyone knows, rent has been different in rural areas compared to cities. But by how much? This student explained the difference. Uh, here I pay about 500. Uh, we've got utilities too, but yeah, it's about 500. 
Uh, yeah, I know a guy, uh, my buddy that goes to CSU. Uh, I know he's paying like seven fifty plus utilities, um, and that's a person. So I mean, I guess it is kind of a lot higher in cities. I don't know. I mean, I guess that's just where everyone wants to be. They all want to be in the city where things are happening. But uh, I guess they're willing to pay a little more. But you know, it's it's not like there isn't good things to do out in rural areas. You know, there's there's good stuff too. But but yeah, cities are just always more expensive. As you can see, the students believe that there is a clear difference in prices from Ohio State and Ohio University. For Buckeye TV, I'm Nick Malika. On our next segment, we cover student life, whether that's hitting the gym or plans for the weekend. It's all here on Buckeye TV News Scarlet Edition, coming up right after the break. <laughs> 